Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can manage different tax rates on WooCommerce. So the first thing you have to do is go log into the WordPress admin area, go to WooCommerce here on the left sidebar, then go to settings and from here go to tax tab here. Okay, so I've already opened this to save your time. By default, you will see all these options here. So you can see these are the tax options. Standard tax rate. So first is the standard rate, second is reduced rate, and the third is zero rates. Okay. So now let's say you are selling multiple products on your website, like a bag, a t-shirt, some jewelry, watch, uh, uh, different type of products which falls in different tax categories. So how you can apply different tax to them? So first, let's configure the tax options. So make sure that this no is selected here and you have to select yes when you are listing the products. Uh, the price you list already include the tax then you will have to select yes here. But generally you do not list the product price including the tax. So I will select no here and then here in calculate tax based on. So usually I would recommend you to uh, base it on shipping address here. Then you have to decide the tax rate on the shipping charges. So by default, it is set to shipping tax class based on cart items. And for most people, this is the recommended settings. But if you want to have a fixed shipping tax rate, then also you can do it. Okay, I will show you next how to do it. Then if you want to round the tax subtotal, you can take this option. I would leave it as default. Then, okay, now we have to set the tax classes. So let's say, um, I am selling three different products and I want to have three different type of tax rates. First is uh, GST 5%, another is GST 10%, another is GST 18%. Okay. After this, um, here select display prices in the shop excluding taxes and this is also excluding taxes and save it for now. Now in tax options, you will see new options here. We just entered uh, here GST 5, 10, 18. You can see those, see those options here. Okay, so first let's configure the GST 10 rates. Just click here. Here you will have to enter your country code. Just start typing your country name and the code will appear automatically. So we'll just select here. You can leave this uh, state code and pencil code. But if you can you can enter it if you want okay then the more important thing is this tax rate so this is the 10 percent gst so i will enter 10 here then put uh, tax name this is what your customers will see so i will select here gst 10 percent and then um, and if you want this tax rate to be applicable to shipping charges also then keep this option ticked okay then click on save changes I would recommend you to keep this shipping option ticked because if you do not want the tax to be applied then you can change it in the shipping options. Then go to GST 18 and similarly set the tax rate. If you click on insert row, put your country code here. 18% GST 18% click on save changes similarly do it for the 5% here okay so we have configured the different tax rates now let's go to tax option here now I will show you if you change this option uh, to, ex to including tax here or this option to including taxes then how different it will look on the checkout page. So now let's add some products here. Go to product, new product here. Okay so put your product name here. Uh, just for demo I am not going to properly list it. I am just going to show you the essential. So let's say I am selling it for 500. And the tax rate should be taxable here. 
then in the tax class you will have to put 10 so i selected back with gst 10 here so for this i will select G, uh, gst 10 tax class okay now let's uh, now i will publish it okay, so i'm not adding our description and product images this is just to show you how it will work okay now again let's add a new product here Again, make sure it is taxable then go here select the correct tax class here then uh, publish your product okay so I have added product with two different tax classes now let's see and try to check out see how it will look let's go to visit store here and I have some items in my cart so I will remove them okay. so let's add this bag with GST 10 add to cart okay. then watch with GST 10 let's add this to cart as well okay so this has also been added to cart now let's view our cart okay, so you can see uh, these are two products with different tax classes so you can see this is the subtotal this is excluding taxes then this is the shipping rate um, then you can see the different tax rate that has been applied so just for this I will remove the shipping right now Okay, so now the shipping is set to local pickup, which is free. Now you can understand the different tax rate. So, so 10% tax has been applied to 500 here, and that's 50. And 18% tax has been applied to 400. So that's 72. And the total is this amount. Okay. Now let's again go to the tax settings here. Okay, so now if I change this display price during cart and checkout. Uh, to including taxes and save changes here let's go back here and now you can see right now the product price do not include tax and if I refresh it I like it like this because the tax and everything is much clearer now you can see the subtotal is this and the tax has been added here so this is the price okay it shows including taxes so now but and here in total uh, the in description you can see the GST rates are, that has been applied so this is how it will look and it completely depends on your preference I would prefer it the other way and excluding taxes I just uh, it looks better itemized and you can also change it to a single total or itemized so let's change that and see how it looks I will again refresh this okay so now it's excluding taxes from the display price but the tax is not itemized it is a total so this in this way I think it becomes very difficult to distinguish like how much how tax was calculated so it is very confusing so I would prefer to set to itemize and then just click on save changes so now this looks much better and clean okay now in next tutorial i will show you how to apply tax different shipping rates and tax on shipping rates so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and let me know if you're interested in the different shipping rates and shipping tax calculation video so that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video